So it's bow fishing season, right? Let's go ahead and make us a reel. I got a call a couple years back. I've never really did a whole lot of bow fishing. I got a call a couple years back and um, got an invite to go bow fishing. I said, yeah, let's go. That's great. Well, it was about an hour before we had to leave and I realized I didn't have any reel or anything. So I, my mind started working on figuring out how to, what can I use for a reel? And I had to use what I had on hand. I couldn't go to the store. And so what I came up with was a can of beans. I had some uh, some nylon line for string, a couple of pieces of wood, and an old bicycle inner tube. And out of that stuff, I made a pretty doggone good reel. And uh, one other thing, I had a piece of a hacksaw blade. So basically, I mean, this thing is super simple and it works really slick. Basically, all I did was take this hacksaw blade, cut it, or uh, break it in half, grind the teeth off, and then I duct taped it, or uh, put some electrical tape onto this uh, can of beans here, or whatever you got. And uh, you'll see later on, we'll go ahead and wrap this string around it, this, uh, this hacksaw blade. If you look right here, there's a little bit of a gap. When you, uh, after you wrap, load this reel up, you can clip your uh, line under there and it holds it in place. So when you're aiming down, your line doesn't fall off your spool. So we're gonna take, first of all, we're gonna punch a couple of holes in the bottom of our can. We're gonna cut a small block of wood, put a couple of drywall screws in it, and I put electrical tape around there so that when I put my screws through it, it doesn't, uh, doesn't split the wood. We're gonna stick this down into our can so that it lines up with our holes. Just like that. Then we're gonna screw through that block of wood right into here. We're gonna attach this thing just like that. All right, so now we've got our, got our can attached to our piece of wood right here. Now we'll go ahead and load the line on the, on the spool. Now this is, this is, braided nylon line that's important it's not just the twisted stuff you want the braided stuff because when you get an arrow into a big carp or whatever you're bow fishing for that thing's going to start spinning if you have the the twisted line like the re regular reverse twist line it's going to uh, untwist that line so the braided stuff what you want and just throw that right around the back of the can like that. I don't want to, I wouldn't want to attach this thing to my bow, but you could, I guess, if you wanted to. Let's throw that down there. That'd be plenty of line there. Now you just take that and clip it right under there. So now I'm just going to attach this thing to my bow. I, this, is a, this is a long bow. It doesn't have a handle on it, really. Um, but if your bow has a handle, you put, it, put this thing right down below your handle. Use uh, this old inner tube. This stuff is really uh, useful for a lot of things. But basically, just throw that thing on there. And if you don't want to mar up, uh, scar up the, uh, your bow, you can take a little piece of leather or, or something and put between this and your bow. I'm not too worried about this one. Throw that right there. wrap over it like that and uh, just go around a couple of times come down below Get a little pull like that that thing that thing's on there pretty good so now you got your bow fishing reel attached to your attached to your bow ready to go Throw you a good arrow on there. When you uh, when you shoot, that thing just does like that, and pew, away it goes. Reel a fish up. You just grab your line and start start winding it around the reel like that. Get him reeled in, and just clip it back underneath there. Ready to go again. Super simple.